Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to Tailor Made Beauty by Chris. We have a field trip today to my bathroom and my project today is this drawer here. About a year and a half ago I organized all my makeup and what I used this drawer for were extras that hadn't been opened. So maybe I got a mascara that was free with a purchase, I put it in here. There was a sale on, a staple, I put it in here. Also, um, I changed my foundation summer and winter because of my color and how dry my skin is. Off-season stuff went in here. And now, uh, you know, a year, year and a half later, honestly, I don't know exactly what's in here. And I've gone looking for some things that I thought would be in here and didn't find them. So you and I are going to go on this journey together. Let's see what's in the drawer. Let's see if anything needs to go away. Uh, clearly it's a little hard to open. That's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, just uh, first things first. Oh, this is from Super Goop. It's one of those um, brushes that has powder in it and the powder has SPF 45 and honestly since we're in still in quarantine and not really going anywhere this is something I would definitely use all the time if I was traveling we go to an air show in Wisconsin every year in Oshkosh and that's a place where I would use this Disneyland is a place where I would use this well we are not going anywhere, so I haven't used it, but I will definitely keep it with hopes that maybe next year we'll get to travel. Ah, the super sponge. This is a silicone infused sponge, and I love this. It does everything that I want a sponge to do without soaking up the product. In fact, if you hold on one second. All right. Here is the one that I'm currently using. And like I said, so from here up has, it's not, a, it's not totally covered in silicone. Um, you can still feel the sponge texture, but it's a, I guess it's a light coat of silicone. And love it, so they had a sale, I don't know, six months ago, so I picked up another one. So that's a key. I have the Tarte Double Duty Stay Spray Setting Spray. I'll keep that. This is a palette that came with um, pigments to lighten or darken a uh, foundation from Ulta. And you, the idea was you would mix it on this. I don't, it needs to be cleaned, but that can go away. Um, these are manuals for various facial devices. That should probably be filed someplace more appropriate. This is thread for some sweater I bought. I think I'll just toss that. Do I have a toss pile yet? Nope. Now I do. Ah, It Bye Bye Pores. This is the um, Airbrush. I don't know if this is loose or if this is pressed. It doesn't say. No, this is loose. And it is a small, I would say travel size, but who's traveling? All right, I'll keep that. Definitely will use that at some point. Um, oh, sorry, this is kind of messed. Tarte Under the Sea. What is this? Concealer. Oh. I really don't use a ton of concealer. You know what, I think what I'm going to do is put all my concealer in one spot and I'll have to spend a few days trying all the concealer and see if there's any that I want to keep. Oh, okay, this is an off season. I, this is from Uma. If I will link the video for Uma for the lipsticks at the end. These are the most amazing lipsticks. And I mean, just look at the sparkle on the outside of that. This is, and this is definitely um, off season. This is a fall and winter. Definitely keeping, keeping in our love fest with Uma. Here's another one. Just that sparkle. I want to sparkle. I want to have some place that I need to sparkle or want to sparkle. 
the master bathroom is not a need or want to sparkle place. All right, what in the world is this? Glam 35 Age Inspired Ultimate Lip Base. Okay, clearly haven't used it. Like, have I ever used it? I don't think I've ever even, I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, I can't even imagine using it. So I think that needs to go away. Ah, Banana Boat SPF 50. Um, what is this stuff? Lip balm. Yes, I will keep that. Usually uh, my kids, my especially my daughter, does Outward Bound in the summer and they have to take this kind of lip balm with them. She didn't do it this year, so. Ah, uh, okay, Estee Lauder Double Wear 2N2 Buff. Yes, I mix this with other foundations and enjoy it. Oh, and the Pat McGrath, the Skin Fetish foundation. This is a really lovely foundation. I will keep that. Buxom, still in the box. Dolly, this is one of those shades when I see it on other people, I always am like, oh, what are you wearing? I have to get that color. And obviously I haven't used it yet. Um, so I need to, and I'm going to put that in. So it goes with my current rotation of glosses and an empty Charlotte Tilbury box because I love the packaging on these, but really that just needs to be recycled. So let's put that there. We'll over the garbage pile. Oh, the Huda Beauty setting spray. <sighs> Resting boss face. So the big sigh is this stuff does really, really hold well, but there's so much alcohol in it and it stings. So like if I used glitter or eyeshadow with a lot of fallout but was going out for the night, I would use this just in my eyes, suck it up, buttercup, and use it. I'll, I'll keep it. I may get to go out again sometime. Okay, we have a little teeny tiny uh, lip gloss from Jouer. Looks like a fun metallic. Oh yeah, that's a fun metallic. So if I get to do a metallic lip again, that'll be fun to do. Here's Jules Smith Beauty. This looks like it's something that came in a subscription box because honestly, uh, I've never heard of this brand before. Uh, you know what? It can go bye bye. This is not, not a color I'm going to wear. Moving on. Oh, Laura Geller, this little palette. Oh, you know, I totally kind of forgot about this. So it's, um, I think it's supposed to be like a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush. And you know, for fall, those might be pretty colors. And if I was traveling anywhere, that's a nice way to travel. I'll try to stop harping on that. Paper, recycle. Oh, the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour wear. This is a great drugstore foundation. Um, 430, I don't remember if that, that must be my summer shade. And since I'm not wearing a ton of foundations this year, I didn't pull it out for summer. I'll hang on to it. Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Powder. I have one of these. This is in light. I have one of these open. Just a second. Here is the one that I'm currently using. It is shade medium. And what I'm, there we go, what I'm really liking about this, or where I use it, is I put it on over my sunscreen and that's about all the coverage I need for walking the dog in the neighborhood or running to the grocery store. So if it's gonna continue in winter, that's gonna be a good one for winter. Here is a little something from Too Faced. It's a duo. It's a duo of what? Blush. 
All right, I can't imagine one using that for blush and two they're so teeny tiny. Bye bye. That'd go away. Ah, oh, Pat McGrath. What? Which one is this? It is Bronze Temptation. I have this in the full size. I love this color. I love it, love it, love it. It looks amazing on uh, this. I feel like it's kind of past its prime, and I do have a full size, so that can go away. Oh, Tarte, the found sealer foundation. I've got a video I did on this. It'll either be linked at the end or linked down below. Uh, this was a good. This was a good foundation. Clearly, I liked it enough. Um, I've got another box of it here in light medium sand. I'll put it with the foundations. Another fabulous Pat McGrath, or not sorry, Charlotte Tilbury box. Recycling. Maybelline Urban Dream. Dream Urban Cover. I don't think I love this foundation. That can go in the garbage. What is this? Petite Pretty Full Feathered Volumizing Mascara. Clearly something else that came in a subscription box. And I don't even think I've, yeah, has it, you can see because it's all clean around there. Hasn't even been opened. Let's put that in a giveaway pile. We're, okay, we're about a third done with the drawer. Oh my gosh. Uh, Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. Again, a little one for traveling, which, yeah, you know. I'm going to put that, I've got a bag of primers over there. It's going to go over there. Oh, here is more of that Glam 35 Ultimate Face Face. So I try to remember whose website or uh, YouTube channel I was watching when they talked about this Glam 35. And, ugh. Oh, yuck. I mean, it, no, just, just, no, uh-uh, no. Make it go away. All right, and this is Lancome Base Pro. What is this supposed to be for? I can't even honestly tell if it's concealer, if it's for eyeshadow. Ooh, it is super thick. It looks like color correcting for under the eye, but it's so thick, like no way would I use it. So that can find a new home. Oh, NYX Born to Glow. I think I did a video on this. And I don't know why I have this. It will go away. Oh, Estee Lauder, the uh, Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Foundation. This is a great foundation. I feel like maybe I should stick it up in my current rotation because I really do like this foundation. Let's set it over there. Okay, here's a box from Pat McGrath. This is, this must be the Bronze Temptation. Yep, full size Bronze Temptation. Haven't opened it yet. Definitely hang on to that. Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. This is my Holy Grail Mascara Primer. Hang on to that. Marc Jacobs Gloss. I think this is probably in here because it's an on. Oh yeah, that is such a fabulous color on, but it is definitely a fall or winter color. Fenty Beauty, oh, Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow, all right? This is another gloss that I love. This is a spare, because I have it in my rotation right now. Here is something glassy. And what is this stuff supposed to be? Glassy Skin Balm. What the heck is that? Oh, all right. It looks like a moisturizer. It's really thick. I think I can use it on my legs. 
Yeah. Well, you know what? It's a moisturizer. Like I said, worst case, I'll use it on my legs. What is this one? Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer. I do not want to glow. No, that's not, that's not something I need. Let's make that go away. Bare Minerals Bare Pro. When I first started buying makeup, was that two years ago? Only two years ago? Uh, this is one of the very first foundations that I purchased. It's, um, you know, it's been so long since I've tried it. I really should check it out. Tarte High Performance 360 Creaseless ah, Smoothing Eye Primer. Okay. Like I said, if I got extras of something, it went in here. So, this I think is from Hourglass. No, it's Laura Mercier. Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. Um, I don't powder, especially under my eyes, but I'll keep it in the drawer just as a finishing powder. Oh, I think this is one of those roller. Yes. All right, can you see that? It's a roller eyeliner. And, you know, it's pretty tiny, but I don't really use it, and I think it should go. Bye-bye. This is Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Just another mascara in the drawer waiting for me to run out of other mascaras. Too Faced Better Than Sex, a little size of it. I do like this mascara, um, but I've got a lot of mascara to go through before I need to buy any more. What's in the Tarte bag, or the Ulta bag? Oh yeah, Stila Hide and Chic, okay? I will link this video at the end. This is amazing foundation and they have discontinued it. So I went out and bought my summer color and bought my winter color and I'm very sad that Stila is not continuing with that foundation because it was an amazing foundation. All right, uh, another lip balm for the kiddos when they travel. Laura Mercier concealer. Remember, we're gonna, I'm gonna do the concealer project. Derma Blend loose setting powder. That's for when I run out of whatever I'm using these days. Estee Lauder Double Wear. This must be, I don't even know, the fall or the winter color, spring, summer. I don't know. It's it's not you're not using it right now. Um, Urban Decay Perversion Little Mascara. Too Faced Better Than Sex. Another little mascara. This is a little gloss from Clinique. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just a kind of a clear topper. I have so many clear glosses. And honestly, the little, I mean, I guess, you know what? I can stick it in the car. That way if I get stuck in the car and my lips are dry, I've got some gloss. <gasps> Charlotte Tilbury Latex Lips. Um, what is this one? Dirty Dancer. All right. There. Yep. I really like that. You know, there is a slight odor to this product, which is not pleasant, but it goes away pretty quickly, and the performance on that gloss is amazing. Another brand new Pat McGrath. This one is Twilo? Twilo? Okay, I gotta look, because I've got no clue what color that is. I was expecting it to be one of the colors that I know and love. Holy bajolies, really? Holy. Um, okay, clearly I'm a little surprised that I bought this color, but clearly I did. What the hell was I thinking? Okay, I'm going to set that out because I've got no clue what I was thinking on that. And maybe I need to try it on my lips. Let's see what the heck it is. 
Moving on. Oh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gloss. This is a great color. Clearly, I liked it. It's still wrapped up. Hang on to it. Here it is again. Are they the same shade? Yep, both shades 70. Here's another one of those rollers. What color is this? Black. I guess I really liked it. I've got two of them and I don't see using them. Goodbye. Another concealer. This is the e.l.f. Com uh, Commando. Camo. Camo concealer. We'll put that with the concealers. Uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. That needs to go with primers over there. Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Sand. I'll add it to the foundations. Uh, all right, Color Science. This is more of that SPF powder in brush form. Estee Lauder, a little black primer, we'll move that. Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Prime Time. We'll put it with face primer. Here's another e.l.f. concealer. What's this? Kula Makeup Setting Spray SPF 30. Okay, if I run out of setting spray, I've got some. Oh. This Tory Burch perfume. I love this duo. I think it's like 22 bucks at Sephora. And then when they have the 20% off, um, I just, I love them. They're tiny. They smell really good. So you know what? I'm almost out of the one that I'm using. And I was like, oh, do I have to buy more? No, I don't. I need to look in the drawer. What's this? Uh, Monster Big Lancome Mascara. That's good. Tatcha. The Satin Skin Mist. What is this supposed to be for? It's a liquid powder for normal to oily skin. Well, given that I run normal to dry, that needs to find me home. Sponge. Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Translucent, set, yes, setting powder. I'll hang on to that. You know what I really need is a finishing powder, and I don't think I have one. Do you guys have a finishing powder you love that isn't the It by By Pores Pressed? Um, I feel like that just doesn't last very long. Uh, let me know down below. Uh, Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. I remember getting this at Sephora. Haven't used it yet. Put it in the primer bag. We are getting close, thank goodness. Here is, I don't know what this is supposed to be. And I'm running out of room. I'll move down to my arm. Maybe that's supposed to be a highlighter? I, I don't know. I, bye bye. Here is Sephora. It's a eyeliner in matte brown black, okay? Hang on to that. Oh, sorry, hair going everywhere. This is something. Is it eyeshadow or is it lip gloss? I have no clue. It doesn't say. That's really in irritating. From Tetris. Um, I think, see it's up at the top there. I think it's meant to be a gloss. Uh, who is this? Uh, Instant Age Rewind. Who does? Who does? Maybelline. Maybelline. We'll put that with concealer. Let's just grab a handful of stuff and finish this up, shall we? This is, um, it looks like a company called Mellow. This would have come in a subscription box. I can use that. Here is a pencil, Sephora. Yes, it's waterproof. Yes, it's 12 hour. What color? It's like, like that dark gray. Keep that. Here's Makeup Forever Ulta HD that goes with the concealers. Liquid cover, full coverage, long lasting concealer. No shortage of concealer. 
another little mascara from Skyline. Marcel at Reeks of Subscription Box. Okay, things in boxes. It's pretty easy to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter Study Spray. A big side because I just bought the huge bottle in the Nordstrom sale. I do not need setting spray for a very, 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 very long time. Here is Tarte's Man Eater Mascara. I don't need mascara for a really long time. This is It Brow Pencil. I'll hang on to that. Elf Hydrating Under Eye. I don't need any more. Lights Camera Lashes. I really like this mascara from Tarte. I'll hang on to that one. And Lancome's, what is this? Um, their, their concealer. I'll put it in the concealers. Grabbing another handful. We're almost there. Elf Hydrating Under Eye can go away. This is a black pencil from Elf. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Urban Decay Eye Primer. That. Wow, at one point I really, really liked that e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Cream because I've got three of them. Stila. Oh, this is eyeshadow. This is from last year, last winter. Also came in like a green and a gold. And I mean, it's, it's dramatic as all get out. Uh, I, you know, it's the kind of thing I use around the holidays. I'll hang on to it. I don't think we're going to get to go anywhere around the holidays. Um, here is another um, Sephora eyeliner pencil. One in plum, one in gray. I really do like those. A couple of boxes. What's still in boxes? Color Science Total Eye. Oh, this is that three-in-one under eye corrector. And right now I'm using the color corrector from Jeffree Star, but I now find him so reprehensible that when I run out of that, I will not buy it again, even though I kind of love it. And I will go back to this Color Science 3-in-1 because it's really good. Here's full-size Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Hang on to that. Wow, we're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, Laneige. This is um, lip balm. Um, I use it. It's actually uh, the tubes I find better than the pot. I find the pot very drying. This is from Sonia Kashuk Eyeliner of Black Tantalizing. I don't need that. L'Oreal Infallible Wear, looks like concealer, goes in the concealer pile. This Pixie uh, Skin Drink Hydration Gel. I don't know if this is supposed to be skincare or a primer or what. Oh, I don't care for the smell. It's very strong, very floral, so that can go away. Last four. Tarte, this is a lip scrub. I'll hang on to that. Lancome, oh, this is a mascara primer in white. I guess I'll hang on to it. I don't know why they do white mascara primer. And here is Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. Again, this has to be something I got in a subscription box. I'll hang on to it. And last but not least, oh, perhaps the most useful useless thing on the planet. This is a Charlotte Tilbury. This was like a gift with purchase or something. And I mean, it's cute. It is cute as all get out. Look at that. But I think it is the most useless thing because you know what this is? It's a little teeny tiny powder. Like Really? Uh, like if you had a dollhouse, this would be perfect for a dollhouse. Um, <laughs> can't imagine I would actually use this. It's so tiny. What are you supposed to do with it? But um, today I can't make myself part with it. So there you have it. Thank you for going through this huge 
exercise of cleaning out Jure with me. I'm not wearing a ton of makeup during quarantine. Um, I'm not buying a lot of new makeup, so guys, if there's stuff you want to see from me, could you let me know? I do feel bad. I miss you. I miss doing these, but I am sort of at a loss for ideas. I do have a video that will be coming up hopefully in a couple of weeks. I am really close to having lost 25 pounds and I want to share that with you. So. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, thanks for joining me, and have a fantastic day. Okay, I have a hair stuck in my gloss. It's driving me crazy. Um, why do they make these boxes so hard to open?